Central has been brilliant for me. Um, the staff have been very, very welcoming from the moment I've come into the hotel. Um, if any, I've needed anything, I can just pick up the phone or I can go down uh, and see them. Um, they will sort anything out for me. I've even uh, been outside as well. Uh, it's a big Indian area, uh, lots of restaurants to go and visit. Also uh, braved outside with the, with the weather as well, particularly with the humidity. Um, but I have to say my, my uh, stay has been superb. The room uh, at Ascot Central has been absolutely fine. Perfect for me, very clean, very tidy. Always making sure that if I need anything, uh, then it will be it will it will be brought up to me. So um, yeah, the room is superb. Well, I've worked with the uh, with the team before. Um, and my experience has always been a very pleasant one, uh, very, very professional. Um, so it's, it's enjoyable, um, you know, they always make you feel very welcoming. Um, but I think the important thing is, is to be able to get across the points within, within the game and, uh, you know, uh, particularly um, Adam and, Mich and Michelle have been very, very I good. Thought, I would have thought they'd have watched the video, good and bad. And then that he's such a professional and he's so fun to be around. We watched the games, obviously, uh, where we were covering uh, the matches. And behind the scenes, there is, there is certainly a quirky side to Nigel Winterburn that maybe not a lot of people know about. Obviously, he has a reputation for his career, but he is such a genuine, honest, professional and also a little bit funny kind of guy. And I think Adam as well will agree that he's just so fun to work with. Brilliant. Sometimes when Arsenal tried to play from deep and yeah. the teams, away teams pressing you watch My experience with Nigel Winterburn was brilliant. I had the privilege of meeting him for North London Derby in the UK a couple of years back, but that was really brief. To have him here in the country, to show him around, get him some good food, and of course to cover the matches with him, and to sit down and interview him for, I think it was around two hours, really in-depth for League of Legends, was brilliant. Oh, I also did another show called Squeaky Bum Time with my friend Keish. <laughs> Are you ready to start? I'm the same. <laughs> we are the we same. We did a podcast with him, the Squeaky Bum Time podcast. Some of the storytelling he did on that show was just absolutely brilliant. And then we did another show. He joined me and Faiz on Bola Ito Life. And in that particular show, he was such a willing storyteller when it comes to what it means to trust the process under Mikel Arteta. In general, we learned a lot from him and I can't thank Nigel enough for coming over and sharing all his experiences. Thank you so much, Nigel. We can't wait, uh, wait to see you again. I had an experience talking to one of the greatest left back that Arsenal has ever seen in those days, which is Nigel Winterburn. So it's such an honor given the chance to get to know him in person. It was like a rapid fire question and it's going to be aired on BDB. Um, I got to know which one of the current Arsenal players that he would love to play with back in those days. But I can only share with you on that in BDB. Thanks for talking to me, Nigel. From Sabah, I just baru sampai tadi pagi all the way from Sabah untuk jumpa uh, kita punya legend. So um, I was uh, really excited lah untuk jumpa kami punya legend uh, depan-depan. So basically kita selalu tengok di TV ya. So ini peluang uh, dapat jumpa di depan-depan. This is my second time meeting Nigel. I met him back in 2017 in Singapore during the Masters. So this is the second time, so kind of feel more excited to meet him at our home soil in Malaysia, in Kuala Lumpur. Oh, my favorite memory of him, of course, the, the long shot against Chelsea in 98, I think. It was a memorable moment. So now I know that when all my uh, stuff comes through my letterbox in Malaysia, <laughs> the memory is among the best uh, left back. Uh, and then he won EPL, it's Arsenal in the 90s. Okay, honored uh, to, feel, uh, to see the Arsenal legend in person uh, and have a lunch with him.
uh, thanks Joshua Reward for this uh, opportunity to have a lunch with Nigel Arsenal legend Nigel Waterburn and thank you very much. Uh, Talima Kasi, Ascot and Astro.